Good morning, YouTube. I hope you guys are doing well. I want to talk about one very classy, back in the days, good days, manly, potent fragrance, uh, which is actually sort of still available, but uh, got lost in time because this kind of fragrance today, people are not wearing so much. And basically, I don't have a full bottle of it. I am going to be uh, talking from a small decant that I am going to tell you interesting how I got this. and. Uh, this was a requested video actually. Um, long time ago I remember one of my subscribers, I don't remember, but I love my subscribers a lot. And he saw me, you know, putting this fragrance, you guys already know what it is, Boucheron uh, Puram. I have a small mini decant here, the box, I'm going to show you the presentation, whatever I have, I'm going to talk about the notes and everything. So long time ago he saw this in my collection and he was like, brother, could you please talk about this because I'm interested to buy it. So Boucheron actually, you know, you guys, moment you hear Boucheron, you know, only two fragrances. Bushram Puram and Jaipur, okay, this baby, this is their money maker and there's also EDP version of it, both of them are equally good, but the EDP actually it's much more potent, so but this fragrance and that fragrance actually have no similarity except the bottle design, juice color, something like that, alright, so I'm not going to be talking about Jaipur today, I'm going to be talking about the Puram, so before I start, as you guys know, um, I have a, open the new page, uh, this is going to be my page where I'm going to be sharing and I'm going to be trying to rebuild everything because things kind of fell apart and uh, yeah a lot of unpleasant things happen but you know that's that shouldn't allow you that shouldn't make you go away and uh, be discouraged always look for positivity so yes do uh, feel like giving a thumbs up or like our page um, the page is called fraccom bangladesh i'll put the link again down there for a few few days so you guys can check it out and join us put send of the day please do feel free if you are a reviewer please feel free to share your reviews to this page it will be a great help all right so second thing before i start the review i have to uh, let you know like please guys i have one uh, friend of mine sister more like she's sister lumina kazami so she's a reviewer female reviewer and she does talk about a lot of nice rare and very one of the few best fragrances for females so if you're interested if you want to buy your ladies perfumes definitely check out her channel i'm gonna put her link down there please give her a love some love and please follow her channel all right so yes here we go i have my prepared my notes i don't want to show you my handwriting it's gross <laughs> so i'm gonna be talking from my notes and i'm gonna give you some idea i'll try to talk everything i got from this so basically what it's gonna be it's gonna be this bottle i have a 4.5 mil as you can see it's all empty so i'm gonna do the review right so this was basically a splash bottle all right let me just show you the box the big box actually is the bigger size of it okay the same box pattern is gonna be cold it's gonna be push around pour on edt and this 4.5 mil it's empty and the bottle is gonna look like this it's gonna say push around and the juice is gonna be inside i'm gonna show you so basically i don't like this kind of um, splash bottles because they're very inconvenient to use I cannot spray them so what i did was i i got smart <laughs> i transferred the 4.5 mil in one of my uh, decant bottles this is my product actually and i sell 10 ml, 5 ml decants in this. So this basically can be sprayed. As you can see, there's spray. So I have this here for about one hour drying down. And I'm going to be showing you the top notes. All right. So yes, basically, that's your presentation. Got 50 ml, I think, and also got 100 ml. Prices vary from $40 all the way to 75 to 80 US dollars. Quite expensive. All right. Oops. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> all right so putting aside that one actually i got as a gift from perfume world with some purchases so one of the nice sisters gifted me that all right so basically this baby all right this fragrance actually i'm gonna show you the decan bottle here this actually was released in 1991 so i was telling you about 90s era so those who were not born in 80s 90s even 2000s if you're born in 2000s you completely have no idea what 90s smell like felt like 80s how they felt like definitely but this fragrance will travel they take you back into the time, give you some idea what back in the time used to smell like. So we have some idea. So this fragrance, it's uh, classified as uh, citrus woody aromatic. Okay. And they have a few other things, but I think those are the prominent uh, words to describe this. Um, there's also the few other versions like the Boucheron, Puram, Udi Parfum, so EDP, and uh, Quatre Absolu de Nuit. I think uh, pour femme for ladies and also got a quatre pour homme and also got quatre, abs quatre, quatre absolute denui pour homme. So basically got a few flankers of this stuff. And people usually say this stuff, the EDT, 
it's, it's it's reformulated and it's not so good anymore and uh, the edp is the one real tool to go i haven't tried the edp if i ever do i'll review it so the prices sizes okay gone so the notes in this the basic notes are opening is citrus to my nose orange lemon verbena mid i get lavender florals like rose ylang ylang and orris root and base i get sandalwood vetiver oak moss musk and incense so basically, as you guys know, reformulation, the oak moss is banned right now. So probably there's very little, even if there is, there's very little oak moss in this. It's not as potent. All right. Back in the days, it's the vintage used to last whole day. Okay. So the opening top note, let me show you the opening top note and I'll talk about the rest of the fragrance that is close to this. I have nothing in the sand. I got that right down here. Let me show you. The spray definitely is different from the main bottle. So I can show you. I'm sorry about the, that. Okay. Let's go to sprays. Okay, just needed one spray because this is very strong already. So you just waft it in the air and sniff, and like move your hand and then get the waft of it in the air. That's the best way I can. Oh, yeah, very, 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 very aromatic. It's very classic, James Bond, and it reminds me of a few fragrances. Okay, how's the opening? I don't, I, I want to tell you it smells like lemon, verbena, that you get a little bit from greenish tweed, not so much, but it's, it is very fresh. Uh, spicy lemon and it reminds me of two fragrances in the opening actually three let me show you the feel of it it's not exactly same but same kind it's spicy lemon so when i think of this one denim original aftershave this is i think denim original yeah this is the original one so this is a splash on basically aftershave but the smell of this the spiciness okay this one doesn't have any citrus so i'm going to show you what citrus it mixes mixes with this it reminds me automatically of this dior sauvage the EDT, the first one, the original one. The opening of this has rosemary and lemon. So there's not much rosemary in this one. You know, I don't think so. It's just a lemon that borrowed. If you can think of this lemon, somewhere there. And also, the opening is a little bit like this 1881 Ceruti. Okay? This is called Ceruti 1881. This fragrance. This stuff and that stuff is pretty. This stuff, the Boucher and uh, Puram, and this one on the try down, very, very close. So if you know this one, you already have some idea what this is going to be like. And I have a couple of more other fragrances I will show you in time. And also the opening reminds me of Armani's Eau Pour Um, E-A-U Pour Um. It's also in the back in the time, that kind of citrusy opening. Very manly, summery, fresh, uplifting, sort of a old school classic. Going to be like sort of powerhouse barbershop, somewhere there in the middle. And opening is very spicy, lemon. So you get the picture. But unfortunately, this best part of this fragrance to my nose is the citrus, which goes away very quickly. The moment you spray it, you'll be like, I wish, I wish even it stayed like that for two hours. Unfortunately, it will go away in five minutes to ten minutes. And then what you're going to be remained with, it's going to be these. Lavender, prominent sandalwood. There is non-smoky incense to my nose. Woody notes, apart from sandalwood, some woody notes. <sighs> some florals. There's few florals in this. It, it makes it sort of like... People usually say this is this stuff is mostly a summer fragrance, but I I somehow don't see it. I think it's it's gonna be doing a little bit better with the cooler weather. Same with 1881 Ceruti. This stuff I wear a lot. Okay, this is a gem of a fragrance, but after reformulation, people say it's weak. I don't think so. This stuff lasts, but not everybody's gonna be a big fan because this fragrance, both of them are kind of mature. Now let me show you two other fragrances. I said. They're going to be kind of same type, but not so much. One is Givenchy's Gentleman. Other one is Safari from Ralph Lauren. I haven't reviewed this. I have, I'm yet to talk about this. This is another gem. Okay. So those fragrances, the woody aspect, not the leather. The woody aspect of these two. Yes, you can get in this. So basically you have the framework. You already have the idea what this is going to be like. Citrus, lavender, sandalwood. These are the main three players in this fragrance. It reminds you of totally 90s era you can see it's it's a very classy mature sophisticated scent men real men back in the days used to smell like this okay and i really love the smell of this it's very nice but i feel you know the today's world it's a little bit dated why it's still available it's in the market you can purchase it um sometimes you can get it discounted sometimes like 40 dollars or whatever but definitely try before buy this this is very difficult to pull off with the uh, teenagers and sort of like Savage Blue Channel trend going on, this uh, it will be totally like somewhere else, like different different zone of the world. Okay, 
it's it's sort of like it takes maturity to pull this off it's very formal and uh some days you can wear it as a signature scent no problem ladies sometimes love wearing this i noticed in fragrant taker but i think uh longevity in the summer it takes a hit i'll give this 7 out of 10 longevity it doesn't last as much as you expect it to be it will give you that first very strong you'll think like it's going to be a powerhouse no it doesn't to me, on me at least i get 7 out of 10 that sort of performance better than average longevity and projection same 7 out of 10 sometimes 6.5 after a while, after one to two hours, it comes close to your skin. The smell of it, I'll give this like um, the opening. If it stayed longer, I would give it like 8.5. But for what it is, like I like Seruti, okay, but I'll give this like 7 out of 10. So you can see the pattern is going certain direction. And um, like if it's a masterpiece or a must buy, I would not say this is a must buy. It's definitely more people who say pass. Why? Because that opening will wow them. And the dry down may disappoint a lot of people because it's not much playful, it's not much fresh, not much sweetness, it's very old school. It's semi barbershop, woody shipra, that kind of fragrance, but very unique. If you like spicy masculine, if you like this kind of stuff, this, the denim spicy one, have you seen your father been wearing it? If you like 1881, 70 one, the dry down of these two, extremely close. But the thing is, the Usabash, the similarity up top, if the lemon stayed on this at least for two hours, this would be a masterpiece to my nose. So maybe you can try the, definitely the EDP, maybe it's much more potent. This one I wish the leather, like this one is a beautiful fragrance, I love wearing this and I'm just waiting for winter to wear this, okay? This is a masterpiece, I will review this. And then the Rivanshi gentleman, again for winter, I think this one for Bangladesh, sort of like our region, I would suggest wear this in the winter time you'll get better projection better smell better dry down and you'll pick up compliments still nowadays you smell all this sweet aquatics playful uh, simple fragrance in the crowd you can be a winner you can be different so if you're looking for a signature scent you're looking for a bit more mature scent you can go back to 90s and borrow some of the good elements all right so that's i think overall to me for realistically speaking practically speaking i think this one will get from my book seven out of ten um it, it could get better if people were much more mature but i guess people are more savage these days okay so yes seven out of ten it's not bad it's a solid fragrance but uh, nothing mind-blowing to the teenagers or kids but real men if you still didn't try this if you're above 30 look into this it might be your favorite okay so it's a good fragrance but for me i have a little bit more modern <laughs> i like sweet fragrances i must say it but yeah, 7.7 7 out of 10, sorry. So that's my overall remark for Boucheron Purum, okay? Do let me know what you feel like, feel about this fragrance, if you ever tried it, well, what was your memory with it, and if you got any compliments, and what season would you wear it. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Good night from Dhaka.